The following question reads that ethanol, which is CSTCHO, and ethanol and methoxymethane are three organic compounds. Which compound has the highest boiling point and what is the interaction that causes this boiling point to be the highest? So let's first uh, draw each one of these molecules and figure out what type of intermolecular forces exist between these molecules. Now the first molecule is ethanol. Uh, remember, it has a acetyl bond O, so this bond over here is a polar bond. Oxygen over here has a partial negative charge. So the type of interaction that's going to exist in this molecule is permanent dipole attraction. You're going to have two molecules and they would be attracted to each other. So for example, there's another ethanol molecule and uh, the negative side of one molecule would attract the positive side of the other molecule. The other force of attraction that's always present is Van der Waals forces, so we will keep that in mind as well. Remember, between any two molecules, uh, the electrons would be fluctuating around. They would be temporary dipole, induced dipole, especially this part is non-polar. So the, the electrons would be fluctuating around, so there would be temporary dipole, induced dipole attraction. So Van der Waals forces is always present in molecules. The next molecule that we're going to discuss is ethanol. Uh, ethanol has this OH group, and remember when O and H are bonded together, this bond is highly polar, so the partial positive and partial negative charges are going to be very large. And one other reason why it's going to be very large is because of the lone pairs on oxygen, the negative charge would be very concentrated, so the negative charge is very strong. So this molecule is going to exert, uh, it's going to be forming hydrogen bonds. That would be the intermolecular force between two ethanol molecules. So here I've drawn uh, another ethanol molecule, so the negative part of uh, this, the lone pair, the concentrated negative charge would be attracted very strongly to the positive hydrogen, so it's going to form very strong hydrogen bonds uh, between two molecules. There would be very strong hydrogen bonding between the molecules. Plus, this other side is non-polar, so there would always be Van der Waals forces. So the other intermolecular force that is going to be present is Van der Waals forces. Electrons would be getting knocked around, so the partial, there would be temporary dipole induced dipole attraction present, so Van der Waals is always present in molecules. The last molecule that we're going to discuss is methoxymethane, where you have uh, a methyl group and methyl group bonded to oxygen, so it's a bent molecule, the shape is bent. Oxygen being highly electronegative is going to pull the electrons closer to it, so this side would be negative, the oxygen would be negative, partial negative, whereas the rest of the carbon chain would be exerting a slight positive charge, would be having a slight positive charge because electrons would be closer to this oxygen over here. So that would result in the formation of a permanent dipole, there would be permanent dipole attraction between methoxy methane molecules. So you can see this uh, other molecule of methoxy methane, the negative side of that molecule would be attracted to the positive side of the other methoxy methane molecule. So there would be permanent dipole attraction that would be present between the molecules plus Van der Waals forces is always present, always temporary dipole induced dipole attraction would be there. So in the question we were being asked to figure out which one has the highest boiling point. Now remember, out of uh, the three molecules that we have discussed, permanent dipole attraction in ethanol, hydrogen bonding in uh, ethanol molecules, and permanent dipole again in methoxymethane molecules. Hydrogen bonding is the strongest. The strongest intermolecular force, uh, relatively the strongest intermolecular force is hydrogen bonds. So ethanol is going to have the highest boiling point. So the correct answer is going to be for this question, it's going to be Ethanol, that's going to ex have the highest boiling point and the reason would be hydrogen bonds because they are capable of forming hydrogen bonds which are very, very strong compared to permanent dipoles and Van der Waals forces. So option C is going to be the correct option for this question.